So normally I take Saturdays off. They're usually my day off. I don't make a video. Uh, I do other things. But what I've decided to do on Saturdays is kind of do one of these little short videos that are supposedly under a minute long. They're supposed to be vertical, whatever. I'm not actually going to do any more vertical videos. They're dumb. And the, the few that I've done have never been under a minute long. I, I, I'm incapable of not, you know, talking more than I should. It's a thing. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's a, it's one, it's a flaw. <laughs> okay. I can't limit myself to just a minute long. And given the fact that I've been lollygagging about this video's topic for a minute already, for almost a minute, you see why. So anyways, this, the topic of this video is going to be, don't be ashamed of Ubuntu. And I see this a lot on, on the internet. People like to shame people who use Ubuntu. And I don't understand this mentality at all. If you're uh, not an Ubuntu user, if you use Arch or you use Debian or you use Solus or you use Red Hat or Fedora or whatever, and you look down upon somebody because they use Ubuntu, I don't understand you because there's nothing wrong with using Ubuntu. There's, <laughs> it, it has the stench on it that it's a new user distro, which is just patently untrue. Uh, Linux Mint is much more of a new user distro than Ubuntu is. Uh, yes, more user, more new users use Ubuntu than use Linux Mint, probably. But in terms of aesthetics, Linux Mint looks more like Windows than Ubuntu does. If you're a new user and you're using Ubuntu, you're very much more courageous because you're using a system that looks completely different than what you've probably been using for the last 20 years or however long. So... Uh, the whole new user stench for Ubuntu d does not really make sense to me at all. So, uh, for those of you who look down upon on people who have been using Linux for a long time and still use Ubuntu, don't do that. Uh, it doesn't matter what distro you use, okay? You're using Linux, it's all the same kernel, okay? It's the exact same piece of software uh, underlying all these distributions. The only thing that changes when you change a distribution is the package manager. That's literally it. If I wanted to use something that looked like Ubuntu on Arch, I could do that, okay? It's just GNOME. It's literally all there is, <laughs> you know? Uh, if I wanted to use uh, KDE on Ubuntu, I could do that. Those things are easily changed out. Though. So the only thing that changes fundamentally when you change a distribution is the package manager. And even that may not be true for very much longer because people are slowly transitioning to using snaps and flat packs more. And those things are cross-distro. So, uh, the distribution that you use does not matter. It just doesn't matter. And the fact that we've somehow come to this point where we shame people because they use a noob distro doesn't make any sense. If you're an Ubuntu user, don't let people shame you. Because it's not shameful to use Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a perfectly fine distribution. It's a good distribution. It's stable. It's well-maintained. There's a huge mungus, if you can pardon the word, community surrounding it. And that community is very friendly. Like, if you have a completely noob question uh, and you use Ubuntu, there are tons of places where you can go and ask that question. Like, how do I CD into a... How do I... How do I CD into a directory? Never use the... How do you change a directory? You know, it's a... Uh, you could go through and ask that question. That's a, a more of a Linux question than a, an Ubuntu question, but... Uh, you'd get an answer. You wouldn't get, read the fucking manual. You'd get an, the answer. I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't get snarked at, most likely. So don't let people shame you just because you use Ubuntu. Even if you've been using Linux for a long time and you still use Ubuntu, again, you can be a power user and be perfectly happy using Ubuntu. It has a great package manager. It has all the software you need. It games better than most other distributions do. It has every desktop environment available for it that you could want. You can use window managers on it if you want to. It can do everything that Arch can do. It can does everything Gentoo can do. Just it just does it differently. You know, it's it's Linux. That's the point. So, uh, as you can tell, this is not a short. Uh, I can't help it. It's whatever. I could probably cut out the first minute and it'd be shorter. <laughs> Anyways, if you have a comment and you want to leave it, you can leave it in the comment section below because that's where comments go, uh, hence the name comment section. Uh, as you can tell, it's late at night. Um, I get snarky late at night. You can also follow me on Twitter 
at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Marcus, Meglin, Donnie, Sven, East Coast Web, Chris, Mitchell, Mr. Fox, American Camp. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.